Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY fidget spinner. So this is for like if you don't have a fidget spinner and you want one. I mean it doesn't spin as fast as like one of these real ones, but at least you can like customize your own. And it's a little bit different, like a lot different actually. But I'm going to show you how to do it without bearings because a lot of people like show and they have like the bearings and then they like just tape the bearings together and with these and, and stuff. These are the bearings. And that's what they do. So I'm going to show you how to do it with out bearings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bearings of the fidget spinner. If you guys actually have one, but if you don't have one, it's, or if one of your siblings or someone has one, your friend, anyone that you can borrow it from, or you can like wing it, or you can like get a template on, from online or anything like that. Okay, then we're going to take any kind of cardboard, we're going to cut it. I have this um, thing from Claire's where I had like glow in the dark tattoos. And if you watched my mall haul, I'm pretty sure this was in it. Oops. But I used all the tattoos, so. Well, no, I didn't use them all. I just put them in different locations. So now I'm going to get out of my video. Please get out of my video. Thank you. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So <laughs> I'm making your food. Whatever, get out of my video. Thank you. So now I'm going to trace my fidget spinner. You really, guys, you really don't need to trace the insides of these, but if you want to, you can to make it more realistic. I wish I had, like, a DIY fidget spinner I already made so I could show you guys how it works, but I kind of threw away all of mine because I got a little bit too excited about my fidget spinner when my real fidget spinner actually got here. I got a little bit too excited, so I threw all of my DIY fidget spinners away. So I can't really show you guys how it works. But yeah, did I tell you guys everything you needed? I'm sorry. You need scissors, a pencil, colors, or anything you can DIY your fidget spinner with. Um, tape, it can be clear tape, and a skewer or a toothpick, and the cardboard, of course. So now we are going to look at our... Get off of my video! Thank you! Keep coming. And we don't need no special guest stars. Thank you. Ha! She thinks she's a star. Anyways, <clears throat> I have this cute little design on this cardboard, so I'm really not going to decorate it in any way, except for the back, maybe, because there's no cute design on the back. Okay, you guys can shape your fidget spinner any kind of way you want. It's done. And you can, um shape it like you can do the like the tiny rectangle ones you can do like the regular ones like i'm doing you can do like the batman ones you can do really any kind and you can use like you don't have to use like duct tape or clear tape you can use like washi tape okay here's my shape here's my shape okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to <laughs> see the back of it is like real ugh real ugh you no, know, I could have done the peace sign, but for some reason I just didn't think of doing the peace sign. Oh, the peace sign isn't big enough anyways, I don't think. Oh wait, wait, I can modify that, but whatever, who cares. Okay, so here's my fidget spinner. This. Okay, now we're going to line it up with your real fidget spinner slash your fidget spinner template, or you can just wing it again. So we're going to make a little circle in the middle. <laughs> Stop! Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyways. Okay, excuse me. Hey guys, so as you just saw in the time lapse, I colored it purple. Why are you crying? Colored it purple. This is actually pretty heavy, so you can weigh this down or you can not. I'm not going to weigh it down, but you can, like, tape pennies on here. People tape pennies, magnets, and stuff. I got something on the table. Then it's, it's, like, sticky substance. But, yeah. 
jelly. Okay. So after this, you are going to have the Dottie in the middle, like we already had. Then you're going to use anything you really can to try and poke a hole in this because, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, if you're doing this part, get help if you are younger than mature. If you're younger than mature, that makes so much sense. Okay. But I can't do this in my room because my other sister's in the room. And then she keeps going back and forth, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm, and I'm not about to go in the bathroom because I make a lot of my videos in the bathroom. And then everyone's like, why are you in the bathroom? Gross, your bathroom is gross. Why would you film in the bathroom? And, like, I don't have my own room, so... And she's also going to the living room and our kitchen. And I can't film outside. It's real windy outside. My supplies would be like, bye. Okay, we're going to try to stick the hole down here. This is a real dangerous part. Try not to poke yourself. There you go. Just like that, and we are going to poke our pencil down here to get a little circle. Yeah, that happens. To get a little circular motion over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we are going to cut the outside. Didn't I already tell you guys we were gonna, I was going to do it yet? No, I didn't. I thought I told you guys that I was going to do a DIY fidget spinner, but I didn't. I don't think I told you guys. I told someone. Okay, yeah. guys, super sorry, but we're in the bathroom. She just started watching the show. It just got really annoying, so I have to leave. It's like leaning on the desk tape here. I don't think I'm going to need the tape, but I'm just, I just got out the tape, but you do have to use it. But, like, you can use it for stuff like taping on like lace or any kind of design or anything like that. So I got it out so I could check that you can actually use it. Okay, people tape like, I mean, yeah, people tape or glue like magnets and pennies on here to weigh, like have the bearings done do, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it light. The second step is you might also need a parent if you're below mature. I'm acting like this is serious, but I'm not. Actually, being serious. <laughs> if you're young or you think you need parental assistance or anything like that, <clears throat> sorry about that. So yeah. So we're going to take your skewer, flash toothpick, and you are going to. And I'm also watching the camera because you guys say a lot of times that I'm like not filming stuff, and I can see this very clearly. And sometimes I film my stuff upside down by accident, so, yeah, hopefully this is not upside down. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark your length of your stick, which does not need to even be that, that wide. You can have it like that. Like that, and you can now cut your stick. Alright, whatever. So, let's cut the stick. We're going to use the scissors. Cut on our line. Sorry, you can't show this part because it's really hard to do this when you're like filming with a phone. So, I think that. I think that. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna be right back. Sorry about that. Skewer in the bathtub. Just being really annoying. Can't she just do it herself? I was fine with her, but now I'm angry. Yeah. Oh, man. She keeps asking me to do stuff. Oh no. Catch 
a DIY gone wrong. So on the toilet. I need to clean the toilet like that, you know. Sorry, excuse the dirty toilet. Okay. Not sure how I'm gonna do this, but I'll be right back when I do. Okay, I got that out. Well, not with my hands, so. So I threw it away. But now I'm going to color the stick. See, the stick should be right around there, and it should be able to spin around this. If it's not able to spin around this, then there's something wrong with this stick, girl. Or boy. Or baby, I think. Or child. Toddler. Whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go into time lapse and I'm going to color the stick. This is completely optional. So is the design and stuff. So yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, so I turned on flash because for some reason it's real dark in here. And it wasn't before, but whatever. So I colored the stick. It's kind of getting everywhere on my fingers and stuff. So now we're going to put this inside of here. We're going to spin. And yeah, this is your DIY fidget spinners. This even, what is this? Your DIY fidget spinner spins. Maybe that is such a bad example. Okay, I am so sorry. Let's just. You can like tape it right here so it won't like. Leave. Takes a couple of tries, but you can get it. But honestly, I got this on Wish, and it's like much easier for like three dollars instead of making this. But you know, if you can't order stuff online and you don't want to buy like a seven dollar thing from Walmart, just yeah. Thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to join the random fan and um, comment down below something. Um, like, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Don't really care. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!